Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Do Guys and Some Horror. What did you just call me? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said horror, not uh, horror. <laughs> Tonight we actually have our first guest star. Meet Cesar Margayon, everyone. Hello, everyone. So, so Cesar picked a movie for us today. It is actually Wreck. So From Cesar. 2007. 2007, yeah. So I remember when this movie came out, and I went to go see it with my best friend and my brother uh in theaters and i thought so my my best friend described to me there's this band in spanish called rake and he said oh it's a movie about that band um because he like he looked the name and he assumed it was a movie about, about that band okay so i went in into the into the movie theaters thinking oh this is like a, a boy band movie and then <laughs> <laughs> I, I get hit with this uh horror zombie movie and i just i just remember it very clearly because i was what 13 probably at the time i was okay. scared ass um, Shit, i almost read my i was grabbing my friend uh, by the arm as i was watching the movie do you do you watch horror movies regularly i don't you don't um did this movie change your opinion on horror movies in general it did okay. i think i started watching more horror movies after that okay nice yeah. good so would you say this would be like your tipping point either I, horror? I i think my tipping point was boogeyman Boogeyman. Okay. <laughs> That's also one of like modern. Ironically enough. That, yeah. Yeah. So there's a period in horror films. It's from like 2005, 2010 ish, where horror movies were more just mean. They were mean spirited. They weren't fun. They weren't really funny. Um, and yeah. you just felt disgusting after you left. And it was, it's a feeling. It, it is something that people definitely look for in horror movies. Um, and it's, it can be fun for people. They may like, I don't know. They may like that. They may like being, yeah. feeling gross. I don't we, know. We're yeah. talking about Hostel yeah. because that, yes. <laughs> those are the only movies like that, that I can think of, which so are that, terrible. That movie falls right into that uh, timeline, but there are some others. Um, I've added them yes. to the list since um, discovering them. Oh, you spoil me. Ooh, I do. <laughs> uh, we can't have fun all the time. Um, but yeah, no, that's, uh, so it's really cool. It's really interesting. Um, just so everyone knows, um, we worked with Cesar, uh, Clark and I together. Um, we've known each other, you and I have known each other now two years? Two years almost. Uh, Clark, year and a half, year? Not even a year yet. Not even a year Almost. Yet. Almost Very, a year. Almost a year. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, and this year we went to a corn maze haunted house type thing uh here local yeah. to us in arizona and i got to talk with cesar a lot more about horror films and kind of get to pick his brain out although i talk way too much and probably <laughs> just talk to him about them the whole time but and at this corn maze cesar was in the front because nothing scared him nothing phased him he was chill the whole we, time no you were behind <laughs> me a lot at you first were, i was like, you were, behind you a lot no no when he was in front like the, but, people jumped in front of him he just looked at him he's like so so <laughs> Through the, yeah, through the attraction houses, I would agree. Yeah. We, we let, uh, <laughs> you roamed the front for those, but I'd say the corn maze, uh, because we went looking for you. Yeah. That's a whole nother story for another <laughs> time. <a> time. <laughs> we showed up a little later, went looking for Clark, um, and couldn't find them at all. And we were actually kind of nervous. We're like, yeah. oh, the whole shit. time we were in the maze, we didn't find them. No, no. very disappointing. <laughs> we got out of the maze about the time you guys got in. Yep. Well, I, I was just like, all right, I think this is the way out. And we just got out within like 15 minutes. Well, we found the <laughs> entrance. We found the went entrance. out the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You and did. We were like, oh, wait, no. This Giant is lap all the way yeah. around. Found the entrance. Got out. Right. Um, all right. So back to Rec. Uh, so it's <laughs> yes. 2007. Director is, and I'm probably going to butcher these, uh, Wami Baler, Balerjo and Paco mm. Plaza. That was pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty bad. And then the writer, uh, Wame, <laughs> Kwame. And Paco again, but uh, Luis or Luiso Berdejo was the was the third writer who he gets less credit um, as like the the articles and whatnot interviews go on, but he was a part of the team, so we can't leave him out. And the budget was about one point eight million uh, U.S. dollar. In two thousand seven, the exchange rate was a little different for euro to U.S., but that's but what it came to. And the body count is thirty six. Oh, 36 deaths. That's not a lot. It's more than you would expect for it being in a building. It and is a building. No one else coming in or out. I'm yeah. really concerned about the it's, 36. It's really 36 because yeah. I don't remember that so, many. So, uh, have you ever seen the YouTube show Kill Count? Yeah, I have not. You have not. I have seen Kill Count. So, they know. do all these different kinds of movies, and that's where I go and grab this fun fact, usually, as I like mm. to watch that episode. Because you also get 
more insight on the kills again. It's a refresher. Um, so if I watch a movie two weeks before we record, a little bit of behind the curtain, um, if I watch it early, I'll go and watch the kill count the day of because it's usually a five-minute video where I can go recap all the kills. Oh, nice. What and are we counting for the kill? Mm-hmm. Is this just like infected kills or is this... No, so there's a different infected count. Oh, Which really? is 158. 158. So it's counting everyone that's at that building who's going to now go inside, I'm assuming. It's the only way. So let's dive into the movie now yeah, let's and have a little bit of fun movie, with this. Yeah. So the next... <laughs> Part of the show that we go into is Clark's quick review, where he gives us just kind of a, it could be a fun review that he's read online, it could be something he's whipped up out of his beautiful, beautiful mind. <laughs> so this movie is uh, essentially a zombie movie. In the 2000s, the aughts is when we have nothing but zombie movies. Re Your Brains, a song by Jonathan Colton was big. All of this, all these zombie movies, like Daisy, kind of came late to the party, I think in like 2000. Whenever 2014 ish. Who's talking about the game? The movie. The movie. Uh, oh, World, World War Z. Z. Yeah, yeah. I. Uh, there was zombie like we had uh, the day after, not the day after tomorrow. Uh, twenty eight days later. Twenty eight days later. Yes, yeah, exactly. Days, week later. So I remember those. There's yeah. so many infected movies out at this time that it's just we're really uh, saturated with them. So they what they kind of did was interesting. They took a shaky shaky cam. Uh, and they added it in. They made it seem as realistic as they could as, as today. And they did a really good job with it. They did a fantastic job. The actors were really on point. The one thing I did not like was that they kind of jammed Satan in there just at the end. Like, these people are possessed. But otherwise, not a bad film. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's Clark's quick review. We love him. Um, so we'll move into the synopsis now. We'll start diving in and going through it. Um, I hate found footage films. You do. Yeah. And you told me this before watching it. Yeah. Um, but I have to say, I don't think this is found footage. Like, I think... As found footage as it is, it's very high quality. Yeah. yeah, because it's... So, as we started the movie, you realize it's a camera reporter. Yep. Um, and so it's right. a... And, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's a high quality camera. It's high quality found footage. Yes. I think that saves it from being a bad found footage film. Right. But... But and yeah. the actress is charisma. She's got the energy. She's got she's got sass. She's got she, energy. She has really she's, good charisma. Yeah. Yeah. No. She's she's adorable. She's just like she doesn't take any shit. She's like you are gonna record. I don't care what that police officer says. So like, sorry, I'm spoiling things a little bit, <laughs> but I loved her. She was fantastic. Yeah, she did great. Um, just we're I'm probably gonna be sprinkling in some fun facts and trivia. Not do so much of a segment because. Yeah. It applies to what we're talking about a lot of times, but um, this female actress is actually an analyst in Spain. So it's very important to keep that in mind when you're watching this movie because her charisma is legit. It's true to her nature. It's her personality. It's not a, It's not an act. It's yeah. just her. That's what she does every day. Exactly. <laughs> it's so good. Um, also, I'm not a big fan of subtitled movies. If I can find a dubbed version, yeah. I will. They lied to us. It wasn't dubbed. It was subtitled. <laughs> but it was amazing. Like, it was... I was... I don't know. I couldn't take my eyes off of it the whole time I was watching it. I'm glad yeah. they didn't dub it. Yeah. It, it would have been terrible. Oh, I'm glad I, I, I didn't don't watch dub dubs It would have been as bad as doing a remake. Yeah. And I watched... And <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, talk about we'll that later. <laughs> um, I did watch it without subtitles. Just... You watch, it's, well, it's, so, not, it's natural okay. to me. That answers question number one for <laughs> Cesar. Did you watch this without subtitles? I, I did I have did. the subtitles on, but I also understood what they're saying the majority of the time. Which is also and good. a lot of the translation was completely off. I don't remember some of it, but like there were a lot of there are a lot of profanities, like Spanish profanities, mm-hmm. kind of sprinkled yeah. in, and said it was just kind of like forceful, uh, get out of my way, things like that. I saw a lot of fucks yeah. that I didn't hear were actually given, oh, like really? in the language, but in the subtitles there were fucks. But mm. they weren't saying a they word that I would know yeah. as it being fuck yeah. in Spanish. So, I don't know. Um, hearing from you guys, you have better knowledge on Spanish than I do. Clark, and you yes. have really good <laughs> understanding <laughs> no, of Spanish. I do, yes. <laughs> and I have very little. Like, when I heard certain things, I was like, awesome, I know that word. <laughs> and there it is in a subtitle. I've confirmed it. Duolingo, thank you. Yes, yeah, so I'm not. I'm not fluent in any way, but no. I understand a bit more. But yep. like the mierda, 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 I think they yeah. keep saying that over and over again, which is I'm assuming is a yeah. profanity, and but... it's a very common to be used in Spain yeah. in their language. They use it. Yeah, that's They're true. Interchangeable. So maybe also... that's why you didn't appear in the subtitles. Maybe because it's not really being used as a. 
I meant vice versa. So I would see it in the subtitle, but I didn't hear or a word hear to connect to. Yeah, that would be a proper, to me, a proper curse word. Yeah. Like I heard puta, but never saw like bitch anywhere. Anywhere. Nowhere. So I don't know what was going on. Yeah. I don't know. That was just think, my by the way, take. I think that's another one of those words that they use a lot. The, puta. Oh, in Spain? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, for the word bitch or other meanings? No, as for well? other meanings, just okay. as a as a sentence. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, because bitch in the U.S. language is also a female dog. You yeah. can use it in multiple ways. It's not, it's not that it means it differently; that it's that they just use it very. Okay. Uh, Interesting. This is why yeah. we do this. I love I love uh, guests, and I love hearing from different perspectives. Because, like I said, me zero to little like knowledge of Spanish. Clark, a peg above me. And Cesar, 10 pegs above both of us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she's pretty hell-bent on actually having something horribly go wrong. Yeah. She really wants that even, alarm to um, sound. Yeah. It seems like she wants something to go wrong. She even tells the firefighters. Yep. So the movie starts by them. Um, so they're doing a late-night show, which is called While You Sleep. In, Great name. In English. <laughs> yeah. Great name. <laughs> and um, so that night, they're following a firefighter crew. Mm-hmm. And... So they start with just where they live, um, watching them like have dinner. It has a pretty slow start, I say, the movie. Um, like the first 10 minutes, it's just them being with the firefighters. I feel Not the pace is much better than some of the other garbage we've watched. Oh, well, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> but it is a, it's a slower it start, sure. Mm-hmm. And then so they go, let's go through the things that, they, that she learns about. So they learn about their dining hall. She gets to see yeah, them the kind of eat. Uh, she gets to see... The dorm area where they're kind of sleeping, and then that guy like walks out in the middle of her. Oh yeah, yeah, in his underwear. (laughs) She says, "This is where they were eating. Look how clean it is. Yeah, clean. They're clean. She was she was surprised by the cleanliness. Because men, we're not clean. Um, Uh, But she did. She does tell one of the firefighters, "I hope something happens. Yep. So we can catch it on camera. But he's like, well, 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 not not too bad. I don't want it to be too bad. Yeah." What, is, what does that even mean? Too bad. Like The foreshadowing, man. Small fire? <laughs> a call a because fire? someone's screaming in their room? No, maybe. That so, would be small. So they play basketball? They play basketball. I kind of... I'm, I'm now talking about these because of having watched the other film that we'll get to later right they, after that. These but. are the things that got me to like the actress. Yeah. Though. Like, she's playing basketball with them. She's, she's yeah. having fun. She's oh, being really... Yeah. I think they do a good job of... You know, character having building. have character building at the beginning with her connections. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that you also definitely look... feel like Angela's cool. Yeah, and mm-hmm. all the firefighters yeah. that she follows with they're pretty decent guys too. Like the main guy, uh, I forgot his name. It was Mano. Mano. Yeah. yeah, he was a cool guy too, and he was always there, you know, standing by your side. Right. Yeah. Um. I. I... <sighs> Great writing. Like absolutely, I think they nailed it. Knocked out of the park because the character building the. The connection that you're building with these people, mm-hmm. and then the alarm goes off, and then the alarm goes off, and they and have they to, go. <laughs> yeah, they go down the 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 pole. Well, they don't. The cameraman. No, no, the firemen do. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> the camera. I can't take the camera down this. So I'm laughing because that's how I read it in subtitles, but that's not at all how he said it. <laughs> so they they actually are slowing these firemen down, which is obviously a bad idea and probably a bad choice to have them there. Um. Anything else about the firehouse before we head out on the no, truck? We're on no? the truck. They're, They're heading. On the truck, yeah. Sound the alarms. Let's go. <laughs> She's like, we're not. They didn't, they didn't sound the alarm because it's not. It's not an urgent thing. They're looking for someone well, who's trapped in a building. It's also midnight. Yeah. So I don't want to wait. Yeah. <laughs> so this was shot um, in Barcelona. Yeah. It's a Barcelona building. So in a, actually, building. Oh. in a real building. In a real building, but yeah. on the way there. So as the sirens, like if they sounded these sirens in this small town in Barcelona. People would probably panic as well. So yeah, you're right. From the acting perspective, they probably don't want to sound the alarm. Um, but they do have a cute little exchange there where the, the guy's like, the guy who fawns over Angela is like, I'll totally do this alarm for you. Like, no problem. Yeah. And <laughs> the, the driver's like, no. No. And she's like, oh, can we redo this? Because I said alarm instead oh, of Oh, yeah, that was so funny. Oh, yeah. yeah. I said alarm. Oh, man, that's good. My, my sound is terrible. I'll cut that. Um... Yeah, so the firemen were using a map, an actual physical map to guide the streets. Oh, 2007. Wow. I didn't see that, actually. Mm-mm. Firemen know where they're going in their district because they have to know the roads. So they right know now. which ways to go around in case a road is blocked. I'm just, that was a note that I had that I was like, mm. wow, this is really 2007? And then I go, no, even in 2007, so much, yeah. 
these guys will have a digital way to get around or they just know their streets already because that's firemen. Yeah. But just a weird thing I wanted to put out. Um, Conchita, my love. Oh, Conchita. <laughs> We're going to fast forward okay. right to there. I need to replace. Right, okay, fast She's forward. They go the, into the building and they find yep. Conchita. <laughs> the, most, <laughs> the most beautiful woman in film. I've already said this before, but you know what? Conchita I, takes the cake. Oh, so gorgeous. Yeah, I'd pull up the Discord <laughs> chat picture that you sent me, but you know, it's it's I've got it in my main in my mind. I'm good. I don't need to see it again. <laughs> so she's yeah. she's got a massive flat in that apartment building. Like if she's the only lady living there, it stretches in yeah. and out and around. Like yeah. it is a huge flat. I think it they is, were in the hallway been... too when they saw her. I'm not even they sure. They were in the hallway of the house, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of the house. Yeah. Of the house. Of her yeah. wing. So the door hallway yeah. i mean it's pretty tense already by the way yeah the, you get in there the police guy is screaming his lungs off telling people to back off yeah that chief um, he's not a very good chief. he's not a very good chief they're, 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 he's he's him. freaking people out yeah <laughs> there's him and there's the younger police officer who's already yeah. upstairs and then you have the people waiting downstairs all the families yeah. that live in the building and yeah. then there's a sick little girl so put a yeah. pin on that yeah um, yeah that poor girl, her dad went out to get her antibiotics, that. and now, yeah. and now, where is he, huh? I hope, All hopefully. this high tension shit's going down, There's and dad's nowhere tension. to be found. Her dad might be, and maybe. the cop is screaming really loudly. That's what I think in the point of the movie where I had to get up and turn my volume down from where I had started it at. <laughs> so I talk about this every week. I wear headphones when I watch these movies, so that way I get fully immersed. And I'll tell you what, that sc- Conchita, yeah, my Conchita. dear. I had to take the headphones off because <laughs> yeah. you were so loud. Yeah. Your beautiful singing voice. <laughs> so 13 minutes in and here we fucking go. This is what I'm here for. Like we are yeah, in we're the movie. In the movie. Uh, I, I can't believe how fast it went. That 13 right. minutes didn't feel that slow. It didn't that feel I that slow. You think about it. I didn't, I didn't know it was 13 minutes. Is that so very Clark short. was shaking his head when you were talking about pacing. And I'm like, I agree with you, Clark. But now that I think about it, I guess it felt kind of slow. But we've seen some really slow shit. I guess we've I'll seen give, some really, I'll give really him a break. Slow. And then now I'm like, no, I wrote it here that this shit was not slow. At all. It was pretty quick. That, it's not the beginning minutes. part that was slow. It's everything after this part is oh, slow. Oh, once I get into the building. Yeah. yeah. It, That's when the movie slows down to me. Because, uh, yeah, you, you meet Conchita. But, like, right after that, it, it just kind of drags with how it's like, oh, well, so yeah. let's get right back into it and I can yeah, yeah. kind of explain yeah, let's that do it. afterwards. But so they meet Conchita with the police officers, right? Mm-hmm. They break into her apartment because she's screaming. Yeah. And the residents are worried about her. And so like the police officers, like one of the, the chief is like, he basically he's like, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? And she just grabs him and bites yeah. him. Never look away. He makes away. a mistake. He, he looks away. He Never turns around. look away. Thank you. <sighs> That's that one second he turns away Fatal to, call the, uh, to um, call the ambulance or something, right? Yeah. And he gets bit. She bites him like right by right the, the, uh, the car jugular. The yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, right there. And he's bleeding, think, yeah. and he's he's down. He's unconscious. He's out. There's the doctor character who's there to kind of suture yeah. him up in the basement. Like it's one of the residents, right? Are Con- you a doctor? Conchita. I'm an intern. <laughs> I'm an intern. He does say that very yeah, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Conchita gets shot, and she's on the ground, presumably dead. Uh, I also took a note here. Angela is giving her performance, by the way, a hundred percent. Like she this is. is amazing. She's doing a great job. Not to overly okay, listen, she's the best part of this movie. I'm not mm, gonna lie. I'm, it is. But <laughs> she she's nailing it. I, I just I'm well, just rolling through here on my notes. Like her reaction. Officer Officer Don't mind me, I'm just gonna be staring at Angela over here for a while. <laughs> Officer Curly Joe keeps telling them to turn off the camera during this entire he does. entire and she, time. And she refuses. She's like, Do not fucking turn off that camera. Yeah, I will, to the camera I will man, yeah. find you. Those were the F bombs that I don't know the yeah. words she used. Yeah, but she, I saw it in the subtitle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well she essentially like sassed him. He's like, Don't you turn off that camera. So they like, go downstairs. So that, they go back downstairs with the family yeah. and everything. They leave and one of the firefighters with the yep. with the lady. The the nice one who did the little interview for her to explain like what a night, a regular night on the job. Yeah, the one that was willing to turn on the sirens for her. Yes. And so they leave him up there to stay with Conchita. The Conchita. They go yeah. downstairs. They're tending to the families, trying to get everyone to calm down to assess what's going yeah. on. The intern is trying to fix the guy. Splat. Yeah, everyone's starting to freak out. Well, oh, they try to get out. Even and they before can't. that. Before yeah, that, the right? door's locked. The, <laughs> yeah, the they try to get out. Very, locked, yeah. And there's um, police all in front. Yeah, the CDC, I guess, yeah. or whatever. the Whatever in Spain that would be. Equivalent, yeah. It has gotten into the So BNC is a real thing. Bionuclear chemicals. So and you send a guy in for the audience. Mm-hmm. They shut down the building for a yes. BNC. Yeah, they do. And um, just 
because they do it in the other film too. So that's why I'm like making a mental okay. note here for everyone. Like this is they these are pieces they're just carrying it right over. But uh, so they shut everything down. They lock everybody People start in freaking there. Out. Everyone's People freaking out. Are freaking you out text and me and you go, "Why are we killing ourselves all of a sudden?" I'm curious what you meant by that. So we see. I was I was texting you kind of like while I was watching Fast? the movie. Okay. We see the firefighter just fall yeah. down. It was, it was more of okay. a joke. As okay. Saw it. He must have, he must have, Conchita must have turned him down, or I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, hey, once your relationship's over with the best woman in the world, you have to give up on life. You have to give up. <laughs> there's, no, uh, there's no way. And we're making light I, of I, a I, really sad, yeah. sad way to fall, because his face, she just bit him and tore the flesh off his face. And then threw him off the stairs. She either threw him, or I, I'm thinking he maybe fell. he stumbled and flipped over the banister and then landed splat. What, four oh, stories? Okay. Were they on the fourth floor for Conchita? Or on the third? Third or fourth? Third or fourth. Fucking high. He falls a lot. They weren't at the penthouse. He falls a lot. He <laughs> fell <laughs> once. He just fell really far. <laughs> yeah, he... A lot of these characters aren't worth mentioning, like like the older couple, because they aren't really yeah. there for much of it. No. But, um, <laughs> they take they take the wounded, and they the doctor or intern takes care of them, and that's when the movie starts to get a little bit more fast. By the way, this is one but... of my favorite deaths. The fall? The fall, just because of how sudden and I don't know where yeah. it is. I had to rewatch it. Best death in the movie. I, I, That's what I, I have written so. down. Yep. Yeah. Um, so they get everything kind of situated down there, but they mm-hmm. realize they're not getting the hell out of there. They find out there's a yeah, textile yeah. shop. Well, they, they go upstairs, right? Again, that's where they shot Conchita. Yes. And they go oh, downstairs. Goodbye, my goodbye, sweet, Conchita. sweet Conchita. Oh, the sound on the gunshots, I, I thought it was pretty great. It's loud. So yeah, loud. sounds like a gun. <laughs> sounds like a gun, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still feeling it. <laughs> I think at oh, that man. point, my roommate came into the room. And he was like, "Why are you watching?" <laughs> <laughs> How did you explain it? A zombie movie. For? Oh, for a podcast. I don't did you tell him? him? Yeah. Okay. Good. Guest. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Good. We just, we just got to get the word out there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Spread. <laughs> so let so so she dies. There's more fumbling around. Yeah. My most or my least favorite parts of this movie is really the up and down of the stairs mm, yeah back and forth it's like it's just but you're not smart like in a horror movie you need to go and move on you can't keep going yeah. back to where you've been that's when you make mistakes well we yeah. find out that the foreign characters the foreigner characters the chinese couple that her dad is upstairs and she's upstairs, paralyzed yeah. and yeah it's so like, as, as they're trying to as they're trying to fix the police officer and the firefighter mm-hmm um, they start interviewing the residents. Yes. Really Pretty well done. I think that's a, uh, for me, it was a funny part in the movie because okay. of how racist all the residents are against the... The Chinese. The Chinese uh, they think residents. It's, the little girl's sick. <laughs> and the mom's like, oh, she just has tonsillitis over and over do again. You, do you know what that guy's name is? The super racist one? Oh, no, I don't know. The guy with the, the, the weird backwards uh-huh. hair yeah, and the, the gross pedal mustache. Cesar. His name is Cesar, really. <laughs> well, there you go. He's super racist. I laughed <laughs> so hard. Yeah. My note literally is that you are super racist. And I'm like, no, that's going to sound terrible. I gotta, I'm gotta. i just going to have to call him Caesar just Caesar. so I sound different. They do call him Caesar. Actually. Oh, they do? No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> I only saw his name in subtitles. I didn't really. I didn't even hear his I name. I missed the name being mentioned, no. but I read it and I was like, that's interesting. Oh. Um. Um, but yeah, so that's the series of interviews that you're talking about. And it probably is the more humorous part because when she talks to the little girl, we get a lot more info about the little girl and her family. She's sick. She's running a fever. The dog is sick. So poor Max. We don't know about the dog at this point. Well, she asked. We learn about the dog, right? She, yeah. During the interview, interview, she tells them about the dog. She's like, my dog was sick. My dad took him to the veterinarian and yesterday and so on. So put a pin on that. Mm -hmm. Two pins. On the little girl. At home. Well, the little yeah. girl is sick, so one pin and the dog, dog went to the veterinarian. Two pins. Any little other girl. pins? No. Okay. <laughs> so now <laughs> we're taking pins. roll call, right? They're good. Yeah. They go back. They're all downstairs, and um, so the cop lost his shit, pulled the gun or whatever, backed everyone up, and then they calmed but him that's down because mm-hmm. they're they're officially quarantining, and he had building. no idea. And then when he saw it, he was like scratching his head. He's stressed out. He's upset. He's very stressed out. He's doing a great job at his role as a grumpy, over power hungry police officer who's just doing his job. And the the firefighter's like, uh, Mano's like, all right, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doubting you. Come on, come on, let's go. And he's Mm -hmm. like, he's like, 
yeah, it's really hard. He's like, I know, I know. And tap, pats him on the back. and It's okay, little guy. You'll be all right. <laughs> Pretty much. So it's at this point where the health inspector comes in, right? Uh, yeah, just after the roll doctor, call. The doctor. Uh, the bio... Yeah. The CDC doctor. Is it in his hazmat suit? Whatever. Yeah. The... In a hazmat suit, yeah. Oh, you guys missed the... Or we didn't miss the part. I'm going to say the part because I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. So the mom, when they're taking roll call, she's like, my husband, he's outside. They won't let him in. She's already said this now, what, four times? So finally, the guy's like, yeah, we know already, lady. Calm down. She just keeps blaming, oh, the, that's funny. She keeps blaming <laughs> the Chinese, too. She does. Oh, everyone starts she, blaming the it's Chinese. Probably, it's her the most. It's probably the dad. It's probably the dad. She just keeps... She's a broken record. She is a broken record. mother. Um, So the husband's outside. The dog's sick. The daughter's sick. That family seems to be pretty fucked up. Yeah. Pin. Pin on that. (laughs) The health inspector comes in. They get a glimpse of everybody outside, though. That's the thing that scares me. So if you're trapped inside that building, you open that door as the people are coming in and out. Not out. Just in. And and you see hazmat suits. You see, what do they say, the special forces are outside? Yeah. What else could be like? Do you hear a helicopter? Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh. gosh, it's going down. And at this point, they're trying to figure out, hey, what 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 exactly is going on? So the reporter and the camera guy, they're trying to get in the room. He's like, no, get up, get out of here, get out. And they turn yeah. the camera off. Little girl kind of turns it back on. They take it. They they're like, what's going on in here? She's like, look yeah. up there. They find a window, peer mm-hmm. in, and yeah. that's when right is a health inspector with the firefighter and the police officer. Looking at the two, well, well, he injects injuries. one with I think so it's a cuff sedative. Him. They cuff they handcuff him. him they to the cuff the bed, first one, but not prop like not in my opinion, not properly. No, 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 Very not at all. But they only cuff the one guy. Yeah, yeah. The and then fighter. they inject him, which yeah. I feel you got to cuff <clears throat> both of them first. But yeah. instead, they they inject one of the guys with something, and then they're like, "What are they doing?" Kind yeah. of talking to the audience for that. So yeah. Angela is relaying, is yelling at um, the cameraman. I can't remember his, his name. name. Pablo. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, why did I forget that? Evil Dead. Um, so Pablo's up there filming, and he's trying yeah. to listen, film, and pay attention, and Angela is just nagging him for information. Yeah, he's like, being loud, too. There's no yeah. way they wouldn't have heard her. Right? That's, uh, that was one of my thoughts during the Especially because, yeah. is it, you said Manu? Manu? Manu. Manu yeah. was walking right by that window. Yeah. His yeah. bald radar head would definitely have picked up the sound I don't waves. think he would have cared. I think the police officer would have. Well, he shut the door. Oh. Yeah. He's the one who gets up and shuts the door on her. Yeah. But anyways, but, yeah. So they, I believe it's the uh, the police officer. He goes in to, you know, lock, Inject. handcuff the, uh, the, other, the other guy. The chief. Yeah. Yep. And the chief just bites him. Oh, shit. And we missed again. the part, though. So when she does turn on the camera, Angela and Pablo start talking before they go to film mm-hmm. the uh, room. Mm-hmm. And she starts to put together because she drops a hint that she thinks it's a contagion. Like mm. she, she mentions that it's I don't contagious. know what she knows about contagions or how can how mm-hmm. things get contagious, but it's kind of cool to see her putting pieces together as we're following her filming, and yeah. and then to go and get that scene because sorry, just I had to back up for yeah. a second to mention that because she's smart, she's, she's not smart. just pretty, she's, she's not just charismatic, she's also smart. That's how she got the job, man. So they <laughs> that's exactly how she got the <laughs> that's job. Exactly how she got the job. She's got it all, man. You can't just judge a a, girl, a a pretty reporter based off her looks, man. No. They work hard yeah. for that. They do. It, how many takes does it take to really get the best shot? Mm. She did quite a few she in the beginning. She did quite a few, yeah. Damn fire truck going off or whatever in the middle when she was trying to yeah. film. <laughs> the very big... Uh, anyway, sorry. I'm taking us on way weird of a... It's this movie goes good. 0 to 100 real quick right now. It does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really so does. At this point... <laughs> This is kind of what I feel like is dragging on because now we have everybody waiting outside. They're trying to figure out what's going yeah. on. The doctor kind of comes in, and during this period of it time, it just makes you feel desperate. I, you start feeling desperate for what's going on. Yeah, I, or if anything actually going to happen. That's a good point, right? That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. At this point, I'm like, well, I, I just kind of want to know, like, when, when are other people going to get infected? So they close the door on the other guy. They, they lock the door on the police officer because he turns he like right away. Right away. Right so away. He does, his, he does say, so the health inspector turns around and he says, uh, the time it takes for the, for the infection to take over is, is based on blood type. As soon as he finishes saying that, the, the officer, officer that just like, got bit. Burr, burr. I thought that was turns. probably one of the niftiest parts of this movie because yeah. it does exposition in a purely natural way. Right. It's the guy explaining what they think could be going on. Mm-hmm. And I don't know many other movies that explain turning and why you turn when mm. you turn. I think blood type's a great choice. 
right? I think age, height, weight are also good choices, mm-hmm. but we've never had it done. And I think they nailed it in this film. Yeah. I, I think also in zombie films, like the pace is always slow in zombie movies. It's always this really slow, rapid, and then and then rapidly growth towards like the last thirty minutes. Yeah. Whereas I feel like in this one, thirteen minutes in, you're zero, you know, you're zero to ninety. You come back down a little bit, and then you're going zero to a hundred again real fast. They also, yeah, kind of cutting back to to what the doctor was saying the mm-hmm. the biohazard hazmat doc. He was he essentially said he's like, yeah, this passes through saliva. So and then he starts talking about this doc. Yeah, he does start talking about this. He talks song. about this dog that, a few and, days and then ago, they right? asked yeah. him, hey, "What's his name?" Max. Well, Max. It's Angela that figures. figures yeah, she it out, asks right? him, "Is the dog's name Max?" Yeah. He's like, "Yeah, how'd you know?" And everyone turns and to the kid. And they all look at the racist mom and the kid. who's been annoying the whole time. Yep. And then she's like, "Hey, we the, just pulled the pin out from the dog, by the way. We pulled did. the pin out of the dog, and now we're pulling yes. the pin out of the little girl, out of the little girl, because she bites her mom's face." Which is pretty epic. And then because, it's pretty epic. The so I have a moral well, yeah. question here as I wrote yeah. down. Do I feel bad about what's going to happen to the mom and what has happened to the mom right now? And personally, I don't feel bad. You don't? No. Do you feel bad, Clark? Honestly, I, I mean, she's annoying, but I, I this whole movie, I kind of, I'm kind of here for the ride. I, I felt, I feel bad for most Every, of the characters. Everybody? Yeah, yeah, you do feel bad. I don't feel actors. bad for the mom. I don't. I really yeah. don't. And I'm, I apologize yeah. if that makes me sound terrible. Yeah. I think. Well, they they look at her like <laughs> she knew, like she knew it was going That's on. That's my point. Yeah. And and we, then she was just trying to ignore, it and she just kept saying no. She just has tonsil. So you feel bad for the in denial. A little bit. Okay. Fair because enough. I mean, it's, it's a human after Fair all, right? Yeah. She was, she was, she was There's no on or off switch here. I mean, there you're gonna no have a percentage off. of. Yeah, I feel. I guess I feel bad that she ends up being stuck in the situation. But yeah. in my opinion, she could have helped everybody out by not like withholding, withholding all of that information. information. Yeah. It's also her daughter too. It is. It is also her daughter. Which we yeah. don't know if she's gonna die or not. If they actually have a cure or what. Yeah, but now the so. husband's been out there with that with going to get the antibiotic. Yeah, I know she wasn't technically infected till she got bit. But we don't know. I don't know think what's she was infected. All. She, does she get bit or does she get vomited? She, they say it's um, saliva. Oh, it's saliva. They say it's saliva. saliva. She gets blood puked on her. I don't think oh, she it's gets blood bit. puked on her. Yeah, and like yeah. a little girl just runs. Yeah, runs yeah. Up like because it's like the little girl. It's like when kids like the timing. throw assume, up and they don't yeah. mean to. They don't know what's happening. Oh, she like just <laughs> vomits the blood all oh, over her mom's face and then turns, tuck tails, and heads upstairs. I thought she bit her face. Oh, I was watching. I was agreeing with you because I thought maybe I missed it, and then I realized I don't. She doesn't get bit because she's totally no, she's normal when vomiting. she's yeah. trying to get it, everyone. Cause, so they yeah. la- they latch her to the staircase. Because she's mom. trying to go after her kid Yep. Uh, relentlessly. And she's yep. not going to stop, so she handcuffs her to the staircase. These I don't like these handcuffs, by the way. They're not your that's... standard, like, close handcuffs. No, these they're are, like, long. chain long yeah. ones that you put on, like, a mental patient in, in kind of a, a psych ward or something. Makes sense. But anyways. This uh, is when they go back upstairs. Again. And find to go find the kid. Conchita's missing. And now Conchita's missing. And the Colombian chick. Right? Because she was... The Colombian girl was there. They shot her. And oh, they yes. shot Conchita. Yes. We, we didn't really talk about the Colombian girl. Yeah. But she was there. Conchita kills They're the Colombian both girl. both gone. They're both gone. We don't know where they are. But the little girl's there. Yeah. They the little girl is there? In Conchita's apartment. The so they have to go through the whole apartment. That's a pretty this is tense where, scene. The, when they're looking through the apartment. Looking for the girl. Why? why? Your, yeah, your heart is going Ooh. fast. We know that this is making people go crazy. This is a crazy person virus from, from the perspective of these people. And this little girl's there just standing still, like breathing kind of weirdly. And the officer, was it was it the officer or, or who was it? But fireman. The fireman, whoever thought, it was. like I think it's the, the younger police officer who tries to. I thought oh, so, too. Oh, is this the kid? The, yeah, the, the younger, younger one? Police officer, okay. yeah. Because I thought they were all up there as a group. I thought the firemen were. was still taking charge and trying to be the hero. It was the other firefighter who, was... who turned who turned then. Who yeah. Was yeah. Downstairs. Yeah. That's what yeah. it was. Not the police officer. Sorry about that. No, you're good. But uh yeah, so he puts his hand on her instead and he's like trying to to console her, which is yeah. no rookie move. And guess what? No. He looks move. away again. Yeah. And this guy looks, looks away. away. I dude, I predicted this. Remember, yeah. I, I sent you a message. I'm yeah. like, I think this little girl is gonna end up killing this guy. Yeah, and, and there he you, goes. Yeah, he, he looks away. Does he look it. away to look for the sirens that he? No, he looks he away to tell them something to like to to help or whatever. I don't remember like exactly or something. But yeah. don't look away. I don't care what you're doing. You can talk to someone and not look at them. I'm talking to you, Cesar. Yes. <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm yeah, staring directly at Clark that. as I said that. Um, That's but, not my but, name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Satan. Um, Satan. <laughs> So the, the, the big piece I'm trying to get at here is twice we've seen someone dealing with a zombie and twice they've made a very fatal flaw of looking away and thinking that they're going to be safe. And they're not. No. They get bit. All right. They get bit right in the neck. <sighs> so they start. So does, does he get bit actually right there? Because they, they struggle for a while. They fight they the little girl. They do. They, uh, they struggle with her. They wrestle her down. And then I believe they bludgeon her to death. This oh, is... they actually kill her? Yeah. I think he, like, locks himself inside the, the room with her. Yeah, he does. does. Oh, he locks right. himself yeah. in the room with her. He's Once like, he I've, been bit, bit. I've been bit. I'm mixing up a movie. <laughs> the doctor was bit too earlier, and he locked himself in very similarly. That's later, actually. That's later. Okay. But yeah. either way, this is where all hell starts breaking loose. So yeah. everybody starts getting I think, infected. I think at this point, they were trying to contain the, the virus and, yeah. like, go find the little girl so she's the only one infected left that we don't know where she is. But Conchita But conchita has gone. They thought she was dead. No, they, she's Oh, dead. they run. Another another favorite scene. So as they're trying to get out of the apartment mm -hmm. after So the, the cop girl, says, get out of here. She bit me. I'm going to stay in here. They start running away. And then Conchita appears, screaming. Oh, she's back. She's back. Love of my she's life. angry. She's very angry. She's very angry. She was shot. She was shot. I'd be I would, angry, I would be, too. I'd be pissed. <laughs> And then she gets punched in the face with a with a sledgehammer. Oh yeah, when I love that Manu scene. just starts punching her. Yeah, oh, it's great. So it's like she's on screen for what one second, and then you just see a sledgehammer just punch her in the yeah. face. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite scenes in the movie. Um, oh man, no, well. Manu is just <laughs> punching everything. Yeah, Manu is the hero of the movie, if anything. Like Angela's great. We all love Angela, but Manu is the real hero. He is a real hero. So now they what they run downstairs. Um, to try to find an exit, they realize that the police officer and the firefighter who were in the next door are now breaking through the door. Mm hmm And they have no time. They, I think it was Cesar at this point says there's a key mm -hmm. to the sewer system or something. Yeah, there's but, a way the out manager, through the bottom, but the... It, he he gives them the idea of where it hint. is, yeah. but not where, like not... It's on the desk, on the yeah, left no, drawer, no. nothing like that. But it's just like he has this the key. Guy, this guy has a key. So they grab all the keys. Well, they run downstairs. Yeah. They run upstairs. So as the a, as a zombies are breaking in through next door, mm -hmm. um, they don't have time to unchain the mom from the staircase. So she, she they had, feel bad about this. They had, like, that's that's, that's another good death, I, I say. The poor lady, yeah. So the poor lady gets... Uh, is she really dead, though? Is, I mean, she's, she's going to live forever as a zombie. Oh, she is going to live forever. You're right. Maybe. But she does get, get handcuffed to the staircase yeah. and left so, her eating her. So like, to help us eating help her. us speed up a little bit faster, because we are at our 41-minute yeah. mark. Right, let's, um, so, not to rush through it, but let's let's jump to the penthouse. So they get the key. So they're all yeah. running. At this point, they're, they're all running infected. up the stairs. This yep. is the part that took the longest in the film, which is okay, but... They're all yeah. rushing up the stairs, and there's the uh, the Chinese lady. Everybody, Everyone's everyone turned. you've seen, Manu at some point gets turned as they're looking for well, the keys. He's fighting them off as they're trying to open the door, and they they're like, "Where's Manu?" And then you see him running up the stairs, screaming, and then they get inside the penthouse, and mm -hmm. this is where mm -hmm. this is where the actual horror of the movie. This is what actually freaked me out because yes. the light on the camera gets broken. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this Fun is where back gets... in trivia. They actually filmed this entire ending in pitch black darkness using they a do. red, what is it, infrared to actually see what's going on. So the actor and actress can't see anything. They were not seeing anything. No, they're actually fumbling through the dark <laughs> yeah. realistically. Oh, it's so good. So this is where it gets a little bit religious. They found out that there was this guy <clears throat> living. I would say supernatural. supernatural. I know religious is a part of it, but it's more possession based, which for yeah, film... They don't go super heavy on Satan. They don't make fun of Satan. They don't. They don't make fun of God. They don't like... But he was a priest. Yes. They were talking he about an exorcism. And he was trying to find like a vaccine. They kind of make science and religion a little bit. He a was lot. trying to find a yeah. vaccine, right? He, they for thought the that girl. they could get a vaccine for possession. For possession. Yeah. Um, but really what they end up doing is they end up spawning a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Because at mean, some point she, uh, he realizes that it, it, it turns mutates. contagious. It mutates. Yeah. And now it's contagious. And then, so he decides to just seal this girl that he was working with. That's the interesting and part. And leave the city. Yeah. She's like, or he's like, I'm just going to lock her in here. Hope and she I'm, dies from starvation And or I'm something. never going to come back. And he just leaves. 
And that's when she breaks through the attic. How does the attic open, though? Realistically, okay, I think she's just that's she had a very... hammer. Oh shit! Oh, you're she had right. A hammer. But here's the thing. Oh. So from the second film, you realize she is not actually in the attic. So I don't know how the attic dropped. What? She was actually, and if you go back and see the film, okay, he, uh, uh, you know how they found the recording of the guy talking, yeah, and explaining what he was doing with the scene and everything. Mm-hmm. He says he he sealed a door in the apartment with her inside. Oh wow! So so then the the attic drops. Um, Pablo uh, it says, "I'm gonna look around with the camera." Yeah. He puts he starts puts the camera. It's a very good scene, by the way. It is. He starts turning around the camera slowly to see what's around in the attic. And I go three, two, two. one. <laughs> Jump ah! scare. Because yeah. <laughs> the camera hits. Yeah. So it's not the girl. No. It's, it's another kid. It which, is. Which yeah. gets explained in, in the second movie, okay. which is not good. Okay. But it's the second kid that hits the camera and breaks the light. Yep. Mm-hmm. And knocks Pablo down. And now knocks Pablo down. He turns on the night vision to try to see what's going on. And with the night vision is where he finds the seal door. And then he, and then he, and then they break I, through the seal door, and that's where they found the darkness the girl. doesn't help. The, the this darkness scene. doesn't help. It's cool, and it definitely makes it really creepy. Super creepy. But I, I just missed all of that, like watching it. I did not realize. I didn't realize there was a no, second kid. No, I didn't know there. Well, I knew there was a different. I knew it was a different kid because it looked different it looked than different. the girl walking around. Yeah. But I didn't understand why. I guess you never know why, which is why you're like, I didn't realize it was a second kid. Yeah. I just thought it was her falling through the. Trap door and That's what I thought too. In the first couple of times that I saw it, I thought the same. Yeah, I thought it was her. Until I, I saw it very clearly. Yeah. yeah. So when you see her, by the way, when they're in the kitchen and she's carrying the hammer and like staggering. At this point, it's all night vision. Yeah, she's <laughs> scary. Yeah. She's, they did a really good job with whatever budget they had. She this kind of ghost, this this emaciated girl with a very long face. Carrying a hammer, just slowly walking in. Yeah, gigantic. And the only boobies of the movie. <laughs> they try the to only walk, boobies of the movies. <laughs> they try to walk past her, but she gets Pablo and. She yeah, I'm Pablo. curious if that was like a skin suit, like they put on her, because that thing. I mean, it looked deformed. It's it not a real, deformed. They, there was makeup for sure. It was okay. Yeah, it was effects because they did. Oh man, I gotta look up whoever did that. I don't know. I looked up the director and the writer. They didn't go on to do anything really big um, in the no, U.S. They Everything they didn't even really touch any of the wrecks after. Like they didn't touch all four of them. I they believe didn't. they returned for three, mm-hmm. but they didn't touch two. No, or which four. would explain the, the the issues with the writing probably in two and yeah. four is just from what I've seen on the cover is out there. So yeah, it's not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, for this movie, like that's that's the end of the movie. That's, that's where we're movie. left. She falls. Yeah, and then she also gets killed. The, she gets the iconic scene where she's in front of the camera breathing heavy and then you just see her get pulled and scream away and that's the same um, clip they used for the trailer in quarantine yep with her with her with her as the with actress. angela as the actress not the not they the u.s actor the original trailer not yeah. the u.s actor the original spanish actor really yeah, yeah. in the u.s trailer yeah <laughs> so that that's um i don't know how much time we'll have left to really get into there we're at fun fact we're at the 46 46 minute mark which is great but we're at the fun facts section. Does anyone else have anything to say about Wreck in itself? Like, you'd recommend it, Clark? Mm. If you like found footage movies and you like zombie movies, yes. Yes. Uh, right. For me, I, not so much. For an average movie, like horror movie, it was good. It's not bad. It's definitely above the crap that we watch. It's mm. like a six, I'd give it. Same? I agree with the six. Five, six. Five, six. Six is fair. Okay. Um, six is good. To I, would, you, I, I mean, you, agree. you really liked it. I really it. liked it, but in the... And the grand scheme, scheme of, horror, of, things, of horror films, I would agree. Cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, if you, yeah, to Clark's point, if you like the zombie and you like found footage, why, it has it why all. you would. It has it all. It has it all. <laughs> um, and it, it really has good writing, all that. I mean, it hits it all does. the marks that you would want in a horror yeah. movie. Really good actors. Well, Angela. I think they're all I'm pretty good. I think they all did a great job. Yeah. The police Even, officer. I hated the it. mom. I'm thinking that was her job. That was her job. <laughs> she hated it. There yeah. are things I didn't like about her acting, mainly her twitches. She kept doing the same. Uh, Twitch. Sure. Mm. She seemed like a druggie. All right. So fun facts and trivia. Uh, we already hit the Angela was a real TV presenter in her native Spain. Um, the film was filmed chronologically. So everything that you see yeah. happened in that order. Um, the full script was never given to anyone. That way they didn't know the fate of every character. So 
Fun fact, when the guy, when Alex falls from the top and hits the floor, no one knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I read that. No one in the lobby. No one knew. So when they drop the body, they're all really filming a scene right there thinking they're just finding out that the doors are locked and whatever. And when that body hits and the sound splats, I don't know if that was ADR, but the sound would still freak anybody else out. It would, yeah. And they all stayed in character really well and they did. figured it out. <laughs> um, the final scene was shot in complete darkness. So much realism for this tr- for this film. So Alex falling from upstairs, uh, the complete darkness, and no one knew the full script. I don't know many other films that actually put all those kinds of pieces together to keep the movie at such a high tension and everyone is on pins and needles. Um, the film created a nice little franchise. It's got four total rec films and it spun off a U.S. franchise for Quarantine to have two films, which is pretty good. Which um, was Quarantine is the same movie. So Quarantine and Rec, just to tap into that a little bit more, because I know it really bothers me, but Quarantine is a literal ripoff from this beautiful Spain, uh, Spanish film. Um, and the, I have quotes here from the two directors. So Juami uh, mm-hmm. said, It's impossible for me to like because it's a copy. It's the same, except for the finale. Wreck, uh, uh, it's impossible to enjoy quarantine after Wreck. I don't understand why they avoided the religious themes. They lost a very important part of the end of the movie, in his opinion. I would right. honestly say I'm glad they avoided the religious themes, because that... See, I didn't yeah. pick up on so much of a religion thing. I went supernatural in my it, mind, it but I can see it now. It was that yeah. became an infection. And, in my and mind... So they're blaming, it's got religious yeah. undertones to spawn the infection, I guess. Well, it was a Catholic thing, too. Yeah. yeah. In my view, they... they um, touch on it so little they really um, do yeah that, that i thought it was just uh people thinking it was a possession mm-hmm. or that because it was in the 60s I don't right know, man all those like news the, articles though? the news articles were in the 50s and 60s you know yeah. like all time so maybe they were just like oh it must be a possession i also love that the guy's from madrid but he's never here and he's it's, never there no but it's his fault like this whole movie is his fault when they went inside <sighs> there and you see all the eyes kind of scratched out and everything that was yeah. that was the girl right i think so I think she so. was Losing her mind in there. She must have been scratching out all the eyes from the photos. Maybe. Yikes. Or maybe it was the guy who was losing his mind. And then Paco was quoted to say, Quarantine helped Wreck to become more popular than it was. It moved the spotlight onto our film. You know, the fact that it was going to be remade in Hollywood, it was big news in Europe. Everyone knew that it existed, this tiny Spanish film. And I think that's a really great way to summarize this. It is. It was a very tiny Spanish film. We may have never really heard much about it because it didn't get a normal theatrical release it until quarantine got put into Hollywood's works. Uh, people, you know, that made the film were like, oh, we're doing pretty good. And it spun like kind of a resurgence, you'd say, here in the U.S. and made it really more popular than it wow. was. I would like them to remake the second movie or at least reboot the way they did with uh, Halloween. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. Actually. I would watch it. I'd probably yeah. go to see it in a theater because I I actually enjoyed Wreck. Not found footage, but I don't know. Maybe give some closure to the building. Just end it. Yeah. End it. Because mm-hmm. I really don't think we finished the film. Like, obviously with Wreck yeah. 2, well, something else too. There's still something happens. else going on. And you get explanation for the little kid that's in the attic. That um, we almost didn't realize was there. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, that, this is, I mean, yeah. I don't know what else to say. This is no, good. That's it. Um, so usually we finish with what have you watched, read, or experienced lately. So if you've got something, now's the time. I personally don't have anything this week because I've just spent a lot of time reading about Rex. So mm. I watched Quarantine, and my it's not positive. So mm. don't go see it. Yeah. Watch Rex. Fuck Quarantine. That's so my synopsis. Too. <laughs> you, <laughs> watch, got any, you got watch, any plugs you want to you wanna leave for um, us, too? No. No plugs. Nothing going on in your life? No businesses? Um, moving to Colorado. Yeah. That's a big... Yeah, thing happening. We're all sad, but yeah, yeah. Miss you. we can still have Thanks you as a guest because we can do it digitally. Just oh, so you perfect. Know. So there you go. If you ever want to come back, you always Rec have two. an invite here. Rec two. Of the show. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Friend of the show. We'll do Rec oh. two. Oh. Oh. Yeah, right. we'll and we have it. to punish ourselves. We can't always have a good day. You can't Obviously. always have a good day. It's not a good movie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Rec awesome. three though. Thanks. <laughs> so thanks for listening, guys. This this has been two guys and some horror. Uh, you can reach out to us on uh, via our email, which is two guys and some horror at gmail dot com. That is the number two, guys and some horror at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Instagram or Twitter, and that's two guys horror pod. Uh, Curtis, do you have anything else you want to add to that? No. 
I really appreciate everyone's listens. We're making some really good headway. Um, I think we're getting a pretty good backing and listening. So just let us know. Like it, we we really do whatever you want to watch. Like we have a guest here who can vouch for you. We didn't plan on doing this probably a month ago. This spun up, I would say, in the past three weeks or so. Three weeks, yeah. Um, and it's just because we just keep talking about it. And we really enjoy talking about horror movies. So yeah. we appreciate all you guys for listening. And uh, yeah, look forward to, to seeing what you guys think. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hey, man, I found uh, Conchita's uh, address. Yeah, I'm going to send her a love letter. You son of a bitch. I'm in. (laughs) 